Welcome back, everybody. Joining us now is Jessica Anderson, Executive Director of Heritage Action for America, our partner and sponsor for tonight's show. Jessica, great to talk to you. Thanks for having me, John. Great to be here. We've been having an amazing conversation about how all of these woke agendas are beginning to hit middle America and hurt middle America. And I want to start first with this ESG movement, this effort to force companies to uh, consider things that really aren't about the bottom line of re making return to investments or products and uh, services. Tell us a little bit why you're so concerned about this and why Hoffa is lobbying so hard to get rid of this. So the woke ESG movement is not only targeting businesses with these quote unquote guidelines that they have to follow, which are completely out of touch with, with the core competencies or the goal or the, or the purpose of the business, but it ends up also hurting us as Americans because we pay the cost for these woke agendas. Businesses then, instead of focusing on what product they're supposed to serve or the clientele that they have in mind, they're instead catering to this crazy left-wing woke agenda that is then driving this wedge between the consumer and the business. And what we found, John, as we dug into this, is that the reason the ESG guidelines or standards are so prolific across the country so quickly is not by accident. It's really because of the CCP and their hold that they want on American businesses to make us weak and ultimately to make us dependent on them. So there's a lot of really good reasons for conservatives to be worried about this and some great actions that everyone can take today to fight back. So you guys have set up a very important website, ESGHertz.com. And what's great about it, it, it shows the, how all of this a regulatory agenda is going to trickle down to everyday Americans. But it also has two pieces of model legislation that the Heritage Foundation has developed. Tell us a little bit about the solution side of this. That's right. Well, state governments and state lawmakers in particular have a huge responsibility here to fight back. They can protect state, state pensions. They can protect state investments and they can protect state contracts and they can literally make them bulletproof from these ESG standards. So the model legislation that you find at ESGHertz.com, activists can download it. They can walk into their state lawmaker and they can say, look, you want to get serious about fighting the woke corporate agenda? You want to get serious about fighting China? introduce and pass legislation like this that will protect our state interests and ultimately the Americans all across the country that really want to get out from underneath the heel of this radical agenda. Yeah, you had a great op-ed and I think it really woke me up even to the, the, the uh, long-term effects of the ESG uh, movement on energy development in America. Talk a little bit about how the SEC's rules is chilling future exploration for energy, something we need sorely as gas prices have been so high. Yeah, that's right. Every single one of us is feeling the pain at the pump. And so the Biden administration is so out of touch when they jammed through this SEC regulation that um, will put huge crippling effects on our American industry. Um, energy industry, and it certainly ensures that American energy is last when it comes to our, the world stage um, for energy exploration and, and importation across the, across the entire globe. And what we found with the SEC comment in particular, John, is that activists were so worried about this, especially given the timing, that in one week's time, we had over 5,000 public comments pushing back against the SEC. So I think that tells us that people are aware of this, they are awake to the dangers of this woke agenda. They don't want to see ESG permeate and cripple businesses or banks or any of us across the country. And we want people to get involved. We want them to take that same momentum from the comment portal and now drive it into these state legislative sessions as we begin uh, in earnest the 2023 sessions and, and finish up the year strong here, John. Yeah, and you know, it's so interesting. Uh, over the last two years, Heritage has had so many really great examples where you took the grassroots and you had a real impact. Everyday Americans made a difference on Title IX, on uh, uh, last year, some of the regulatory agenda of the Biden administration, uh, the uh, uh, CRT, the curriculum in schools. If someone's sitting at home saying, you know, this sounds way too big for me, I don't have any way to have an influence on the Washington government. Tell us a little bit how everyday people can get involved and actually make a difference at the grassroots level. Look, whether you have one hour to give or you have 20 hours to give a week, we need help. The voice and the spirit of the grassroots movement across America is so strong, but it's only strong because people like you and I commit to calling our members of Congress, having relationships with our state lawmakers, knowing who our state treasurer is, 
our, our secretary of states uh, at the state level, our secretary of elections at the state level. All of these officials play such critical roles in dictating what our life looks like as Americans. And so as activists, we want to have relationships with them. We want to ensure that they know what we want, what we as conservatives want to see, not only for businesses, but for our families, for our schools, pushing back against CRT is a great example too, John. And so get involved, whatever, even if you only have an hour a week, we need that hour. The country needs it. And this is the hard work that will keep us moving forward. It sure is. And there's a really easy way to start that process. All you have to do, folks, is text the word ESG to 51776, 51776. Text that and you'll get uh, a great earning kit early on to get you started. You can also go to ESGHertz.com. Now we're gonna take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna continue the discussion. But in the meantime, take a look at this video by Heritage Action. Gives you a sense of what they're doing on the front lines of this movement. Hey, I'm Brian. My pronouns are he, his, him. I understand you're looking for a small business loan, but you're having troubles with your ESG score. I was denied. What's your business? I operate uh, drilling equipment, oil and gas. Uh -huh. The E in ESG is for environmental. You're in a dirty industry. So I can't get no loan? Well, let's take a look at your company's social policies. Tell me about your plan to create social justice. Social justice. Do your employees get paid time off for abortions? And tell me about your diversity, equity, and inclusion plan. Well, I ain't got none of that. I'm a driller. I just hire good people to do the work. Well, maybe there's one more thing we can check. Do you have any female co-owners? Uh, no, just me. Ooh, have you ever identified as a woman? Or even just non-binary? It could really help your score. What? Ugh, your loan is denied. Come back when you fix your ESG score. 